This was recorded February 18, 2024. This is my 10 minute drawing session, Sea Beast number two. So I've taken Sea Beast and I have, I basically uh, flipped the paper over and I traced it because I'm working on the design for Sea Beast and trying to figure out how exactly I want to refine this creature. And I was thinking, I definitely wanted, you know, it's a scaly sea creature, sea serpent type thing, and it has uh, scales as well, or fins as well. And I had only given it the fins on its cheeks or head, and one of my, I don't know, somebody in the house said it was good enough like that. And I thought, no, it's not really good enough like that. So I wanted to add more, so I proceeded to do that in this drawing. And at first I was just going to add fins to the flippers. Uh, I don't know that that actually makes sense, uh, physiologically, anatomically, whatever, but I was going to do that there. And then I said, well, I don't know about, you know, just doing that, definitely do some sort of fin on the back, um, maybe a fin on the tail as well, uh, which you can see I did here. Um, what one of my kids said, hey, you should give it a mane, like a lion. So I thought about that for a minute and I said, you know what, why not? I'll give it a lion-like mane. I think that'll be cool. Um, it'll be a fun little extra feature that it has. And uh, so I decided to do that. So I gave it this kind of lion mane type thing. I'm thinking, it's been a long time since I've watched Sleeping Beauty, but I almost think that the dragon that Maleficent turned herself into uh, has a similar feature to her. Uh, and I think I've seen this done elsewhere with other dragon type characters. Now, this is a sea monster, sea creature, sea beast, and she isn't necessarily a dragon, or she's not a dragon. Uh, she's 100% not a dragon, but if there are dragon similarities, I'm okay with that. She's very ancient, and yeah, she doesn't have wings, and I'm not doing anything with dragons right now, so I'm not worried about messing up my ID or stealing anything from myself in the future, so I think I'm content with these design choices for now. I may teach her a little bit more, but I have a winged beast uh, bird type thing and a land creature to develop as well for uh, they are in a shared universe with each other and I need to shift gears and focus on them. So I'll probably be doing that soon. And that's pretty much all I have to say about my sea beast. I like her. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed that. Go to mjmunoz.com to leave any questions, comments, or other feedback you might have. There you can find all of my analysis, art, and fiction. I cover books, tokusatsu, comic books, anime, and more. Look around, you're sure to find something else that you'll enjoy as well. This has been a Story Over Everything production.